Hi, I'm Ben Cubbage from Elevated Trips at elevatedtrips.com, and we're at La Brong Monastery. This is right at 2,900 meters, about 10,000 feet, and we're in one of Tibet's six holiest monasteries. So let's check out La Brong Monastery together. inside La Brong Monastery and one of my favorite things to do is to actually walk what's called the Kura which is this area that's several kilometers long that runs the perimeter of the whole monastery especially in the morning and the evening you can see a lot of pilgrims that come out every morning and evening and they walk around and they spin every single one of these prayer wheels thousands of prayer wheels each with Tibetan scriptures inside of them to release prayers of compassion for people in their family people in their community so one really great thing to do if you got the time in Labron is just spend an hour or two walking around the monastery. Of course, you got to see the inside of the monastery and the, the monks and the monk life. It's very interesting. But also walk along with these pilgrims, get to know pilgrim life, get to know nomad life, get to know what drives these people and the very heart of Tibetan Buddhism. So this is one of my favorite parts of the whole monastery tour. And we're actually inside this courtin and we're walking up these steps here, these old wooden steps, uh, walking through a lot of history. And it's fun, you actually get to walk up four flights of steps as we ascend to the very top of the courtin. Has an incredible view of the courtin. Let's talk about the view from the top.
This monastery was founded in 1709 by Jamyang Jukpa, and currently it's believed that the fifth reincarnation of Jamyang Jukpa is presiding over the monastery. And so it has seen over 400 years of history and over five generations of monastic leadership. So you can see as we look out, as we pan across these houses here, most of these smaller buildings are the residence of the monks. Um, you have anywhere from five-year-old monks to 70-year-old monks all living in this complex. You have over a thousand monks that live in this particular place. It's like its own little small city. And it basically dominates the entire western portion of all of Labrong town. So the monastery is very influential. It's the most influential monastery outside of the Tibetan Autonomous Region. And it's also one of the six greatest Gelugpa monasteries in all of the Tibetan Plateau. So this monastery is very important. If you're going to visit just one or two monasteries in Tibet, we highly recommend this one. This is the, probably the most important teaching monastery in all of Amdo, Tibet. So if you're making a trip to Xining or Lanzhou, please come to Labrong Monastery. It's about a four hour drive from Lanzhou, about a five hour drive from Xining. It's well worth your time to get out to the Tibetan Plateau. We're, we're at over 2,900 meters, about 10,000 feet. So the sun is beautiful, it's gorgeous. Uh, in the winters, winters can be very cold, um, but quite snowy and beautiful here in the monastery. Not a lot of tourists in the winters. Summers do see a lot of Chinese tourists coming to the monastery. Um, so just to be aware that if you're coming in July and August, you're probably gonna uh, be rubbing shoulders with a few Chinese tourists. So uh, we recommend uh, spring and fall and winter. Those are usually the best times to come to the monastery. It's less crowds, less tourists, and you, you get a little bit more of the uh, original, authentic feel of La Brong Monastery. This is the Labrong Tonka Wall. We're up close and personal here with it. You can see really how big it is. I mean, it's a good 50 meters tall, 25 meters wide, and um, they'll roll a whole Tonka painting down this wall on one particular religious festival. And the rest of the day, is, it basically remains unused. So this is a really great spot to come, especially if you get to see the Tonka unveiling that's really neat but you know even if you, you don't get to come on the, the particular celebration of the Tonka unveiling one great thing to do is just climb up this hill and you'll have a really great view of the whole monastery below you We're right here on the southwest corner of Labrong town and you can see the monastery is in full view beautiful blue sky and there's even a great hike to do if you have some some time a couple extra hours in Labrong town check out this ridge right behind the monastery that's about a two to three hour hike if you get up there, a beautiful view of the monastery back there on the, the north side of the monastery. So um, that, that hike actually begins um, just here to the left of the hill in the nunnery. And you can start climbing up through, through the nunnery complex. You can reach the top of the hill. There's some prayer flags up there. And then you can descend down to the east side of the monastery, the far east side of the monastery. And then uh, that is a great thing to do if you have a couple extra hours in Labrum. We just climbed 120 stairs to the top of the Tonka Wall, looking over this great view of Labrong Monastery. You can see the hike I was talking about. Um, there's this beautiful mountain right behind the monastery. 